Welcome to the AWS Report. I'm Jeff Barr. My guest today is Jeff Aiden of Second Watch. Jeff, welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks for having me. What a beautiful day here in Seattle. I, indeed it is. So tell me a bit about Second Watches and what you guys do. Yeah, so Second Watch is a featured solution provider and an ISV for AWS. And our focus is around services. So we help companies think through their roadmap for moving to the cloud, including TCO or ROI analysis. Uh, we also help in implementing the projects. Um, and then we offer managed services. And then another division is under the product division where we're innovating our own products built on AWS. One of those is 2W Insight, which is a billing application um, that helps you digest the bills received from AWS. Okay, so let's start with the services. Yeah. What kind of companies traditionally would be your, your kind of companies you'd work with? Yeah, no, great question. The vast majority of the companies that we're working with are traditional companies. Red Lion is an example, a regional hotel chain, mid-market, publicly traded company. Um, they had started working with Amazon for about six months before they engaged with us. They had questions around how to set up a VPC, some of the PCI compliance. We were able to come in and help them because one of our focuses and why we focus on the traditional business is we have really hardcore enterprise uh, operations um, leadership within our group. And so we focus around some of those issues and concerns versus necessarily the, the developer's concern. Sure, now a traditional company, what are the kinds of things that they would say, I'm, I'm very interested in the cloud, but I just have some things that I just need to understand or figure out or resolve. What, what might be some well, of the Well, it's a that's... different, yeah, it's a different tool set. So Amazon is like Lego land. You have all these different Legos that you can put together. Um, it's not pre-configured like some of your competitors where you have to buy a pirate ship. And so it takes some skill not only to put those Legos together, but also help understand the costs. So a lot of times it's how to get started with a proof of concept or uh, answering some of the security concerns and how to set up a uh, you know, highly compliant website, or how do I extend my data center? Uh, it's usually questions like that that start um, the conversation, and then being able to walk them through the process. So one of the things that we do is really do, a, uh, before we uh, get started uh, during the discovery session, is lay out a high-level design. And in, in that, we're trying to answer questions or concerns the companies might have, whether it's staff augmentation, which a lot of people believe is just going to happen because of the cloud. The reality is that's a corporate decision, whether they keep the talent in-house and train them to use AWS or they actually uh, outsource that. So we just help them think through some of those things and then walk them through the process of actually okay. using AWS. Now, do you end up sticking with them after they get the implementation? Do they need your, your ongoing help in the yes, operations? Yes, great question. So part of our managed service is not only um, around providing them billing application or account management, but we also are able to do training. Uh, we're able to come in and really help uh, refine their skills around AWS. So they they will partner with us continually um, because we want to make sure that they're happy and, and receiving the benefits of AWS. All right, so you also mentioned that you had a, an actual product as well. Yeah, 2W Insight um, is a billing application. I'm not aware of any other billing applications that take the information AWS gives you and we translate that out into a very consumable fashion. So this is accurate by the hour. And what it does is it actually breaks down your services by custom tags. So if you tag your application or your server by VPC, you can see what actually your compute charges are. Uh, it also helps you identify where to buy reserved instances. Um, and this is a common question customers have. Where should I buy? And then the follow-up questions, you know, what's the OS, region, AZ, and um, um, <clears throat> size that I need to buy? And so this lays out accurately what they're using each hour. And you have to do it hourly because a lot of the services um, might only spin up for an hour or two. Uh, we have some developers that only uh, that we back up their server for one hour a night. That costs us less than a dollar. Sure. So you're able to both help them understand all the different cost components of their existing AWS bill, and you can also look at that bill and you can say, if you were to purchase reserved instances, you can get even additional cost savings. Correct, correct. That's one version. And then we have a consolidated billing version, which actually solves the blended. Um, so if you have a consolidated bill and you have multiple accounts, some items are blended across uh, like reserved instances and we help unmangle that and actually assign the right bill to each customer. And then you can print a nice PDF and send that off to the customer. Excellent, so to me this really highlights the difference between what some people think of the cloud as simply a, a technical solution and the fact is there's a really important business and financial side to that as well that people need to understand. Yeah, well, when a business looks at it, they're looking for 20% growth. And so 15% of that might come from the top line and 5% might come from efficiency. The cloud is a great way to get both. So it helps you get the efficiency so you can apply those dollars to, to drive growth. 2W Insight for us is a great example. 
um, you know, we innovated on AWS. And what this basically does is if you think of a utility bill, you get it, you just charge electricity. You have no idea how much your washer, your dryer, your fridge is, is actually consuming. Uh, what our billing does is, is basically break that down so you can see what your air conditioner, or in this case EC2 or EBS, is costing you. Got it. Okay, are there any other things that we didn't cover that you'd like our audience to know about? You know, I think the pace that Amazon is moving uh, with innovation, you know, there's a lot of great opportunity out there for customers. You know, one thing that, that always comes to mind about AWS for us is, you know, it's really a choice. Do you want to be the Netflix or the Blockbuster? Um, and, you know, 10 years ago, who would have thought Amazon Prime or Netflix, you'd be able to sit at home and, and order videos, right? Yeah, you got to deal with rebuffering, but it's so much better than being welcomed every time you walk into a store. So um, I think that's really the core to the cloud is, you know, which type of company and what's the competition doing? And, and that's what we see out in the marketplace is companies are really seeing it as a tool to be more agile and, and really provide a better customer experience and meet growth. Perfect. All right, well, thank you so much for coming. And uh, this has been the AWS Report. This is Jeff Barr, and thank you so much for watching.